Alrighty then, now that I think OBS is finally not broken, uh, we're going to play- Oh, go back. Go back to where you were. No, what are you doing? Okay, that's great. Um, we are going to play the Unreal Engine Paris tech demo. So we're going to do a 1920 by 1080 and hopefully we'll be, monitor we'll be able to monitor the frames per second the GTX 980 gets with it. So without further ado... Okay. This looks like I get over 3,000 FPS, guys. Let's set my microphone down now. 66, 65. Eh, not bad. Running at 1080. Let's take a look around. These drawer textures are nice. Ooh, look at those mags. Wow, I've never seen a video game bed that actually looks more comfortable than my real life bed. Now I can fantasize about sleeping while I play video games, that's great. Please, the same magazine stack, copy and paste it. Oh. Not very, uh... I mean, it's pretty looking, but the textures aren't very high resolution. Like, look at the wall outlets. Still, very pretty. Almost looks real life from a distance. Ooh, that glass, though. The way it reflects, that's pretty cool. And here's the window. Nice little, you know, white light box. The transparency of the curtains is nice too, because they they're transparent, but they also have a texture to them. That's pretty cool. They look like actual fabric. Oh, we don't get to play with shadows, I guess. I guess that was too much for them. I love lamp. Yeah, look at the plugs. Well, actually, this one's actually looks a little bit better than the other one over there. Must have just gotten late. Oh, the molding on the wall is cool. That radiator is cool, too. Well, actually, it's radiator, so it would actually be hot, but whatever. Oh, the reflection off the art. That's nifty. Now, the, nothing in this demo is moving, so it's not very taxing on the computer to run. Um, obviously, a, a video game looking this nice wouldn't run well on today's cards, uh, just because of all the moving objects you would need. It would be pretty laggy. Soon, though. This is pretty incredible, I have to admit. You could, you could bring someone in here and, you know, fool them into real life. Oh, there's a kitchen. Oh, there's a Facebook notification, which I silenced my phone. So it's annoying that it went through. Looks like your coffee area. See, now when I first saw this right here, I thought, oh, there's a texture he didn't bother to, you know, work out. But if you look at the one next to it, the one next to it's completely round, but this one's got kind of like, almost looks like um a texture issue, but as the closer I look at it, the more I realize that's that's no, that's actually just how the thing's made. Like it's supposed to look like that, because there's this perfectly round one over here. And there's a stove. Those grills don't have much depth to them. I'll have to look at this video later. But they look almost flat. Spoons that actually reflect the room. Or do they? Or is that just a fixed image? No, they reflect the room. Neato. Nice sink countertops and bowls. Nice little rug. With chairs. And a plant. Let's check out the rest of the house. Another plant. Even the ceiling has little details on it. That's pretty cool. My cat's causing a ruckus in the background. So here's the bathroom. 
which actually is, I think, the nicest, the coolest part of the house that I've seen so far. I mean, look at the towel draped over the tub. Molding above the tub. More towels. And a mirror. So apparently your, your character in this is a vampire because you can't be seen in mirrors. So there's that. And there's the loo. There's some more towels. Yeah, and the light switches aren't like super fantastic, but they're still pretty cool. They don't do anything though. So that looks like uh, this completes our tour. So uh, check out this guy's website to download it yourself. And try it on your computer, see how it runs. Alrighty, well, thank you for watching. What have I done? Oh, stop recording.